Uh, we will move on over to the Air Force Falcons. And let me write my time down here. Uh, the Air Force Falcons last year. I mean, just an incredible year. And they do this almost all the time under Troy Calhoun. It feels like it went 10-3. and three. Uh, They were that 149-45 to 45 game away against Utah State from actually winning this division and being 11-2. and two. They did win their bowl game against Louisville. Uh, returning production is, is actually pretty good here. Um, you look at their roster strength. Their, the roster strength is never good because they don't get the same recruits as everybody else, but they develop the hell out of kids. Just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, big losses for this team. Defensive end Jordan Jackson, he got drafted by the Saints. Uh, the linebacker Meeks, the cornerback Milton Bug the third. But everybody on offense comes back. And this was an incredibly efficient offense last year, number 15 in PPA per drive. Uh, when you look at, you know, at, the offense is just incredibly proven, incredibly experienced. Quarterback uh, Hazik Daniels is back. The playmakers, uh, running back Hughes, the wide receiver Davis. They have got six offensive linemen that had 350-plus snaps last year. Uh, and then their top six rushers are back this season, <laughs> which is just absurd for a team that is awesome at running the football. Um on top of that, the defense, you know, you got to wonder what that defensive line is going to look like. Uh, the defensive coordinator left. John Radzinski, he left for Virginia. He joined Tony Elliott's staff over there. So the inside linebackers coach, Brian Knorr, is going to take over here. But uh, you look at this, like the defensive line is, is my biggest question. They've only got one guy that had more than 277 snaps last year, and, and only three players had 250. Like, they don't have a lot of experience on that defensive line, so that's that's going to be an issue. They lost over 1,400 snaps between the cornerback bug and the safety Taylor. Um, it, they were number 120 in defensive explosive play rate last year. You got to get your secondary to limit those explosive plays, which is, you would think with them running the football, it would limit that anyway, but the play rate is the difference there. Um, keys to the season here, keep Daniels and the playmakers healthy. Uh, a little more explosivity in the offense and then limiting explosive plays on the defense. I mean, the way their schedule sets up, like they could have an undefeated season here. Uh, develop the defensive line, hope that Nora can continue that same trajectory that the defense was on under Radzinski. I've got them going 10 and 2 this year. I mean, they are, their, their post game win expectancy last year, by the way, was 10.21 and 1.79. So it, that's during the regular season. Uh, they were not expected to lose that Utah State game last year. So That's right. I, I I look at this team like I've got them losing at San Diego State and I've got them losing to Boise. I could see them beating both of those. There's not a team on this schedule that scares me for Air Force. Like I, I really wow. think they're a fantastic team. Yeah. So I've, I've got okay. them 10 and 2. Um, but I, I think they could be better than that. We're we're pretty far off here. Okay. We we might not have another one where we're this far off. So, I, okay. I've got them six and six. Ooh, okay. okay. I just think this conference is getting better. I think the Mountain West is getting bigger. They're getting stronger, and they're getting faster. And the, the, the more athleticism that comes into the conference, the more that hurts these um, military schools. Because there's only so big you can get. And, and there's only – so much strength you can have in the bodies that you have to have to be in the military. That I, I do see where you're going with that. Um, I, I think I think we're going to see a pretty big drop off there. So I'm curious to see. One of us is going to be right because they're not going to have a losing season, right? Like they're gonna they're gonna go. Yeah, bowling. I mean they're they're gonna make so a bowl. Are they are they closer to ten and two? Or are they closer to six and six? And I, I'm, I'm anxious to see. And you know, I hate that. I don't want to do that. But I think Army. Is 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 really good, you know? Oh yeah, and, absolutely. And, and you know, I'm not I'm not giving them that game. And I think Boise's really good. And I'm not giving them that game. I'm just not. I'm just I, like there's a lot of games where I'm just not going to give it to them anymore. I, can, I think they've got a lot more coin flips than than they do beating the hell out of folks. Their projected SP plus record is eight and four. So it is yeah. right in between where you. So and right, are. right between where you and I are. Yeah, you got two it. Games. I got them two games less. You got them two games more. Yeah. That's, I may be overestimating the the or I guess underestimating the loss of Radzinski, the defensive coordinator. That could be a big thing here. Um, I just and trust I just Calhoun. Just not giving him enough of credit because I look at the schedule and I. But I like this conference. 
I think this yeah. conference is getting deeper. There was a day and a time where this conference was a one-trick pony for decades, not not a couple of years. For 20 years, they had one horse. And yeah. now they got five or six horses, and they, and they change spots all the time. No, you're San definitely Jose right. Like won it. this monkey a couple of years ago and then struggled to get to 500. Because yeah. all and it wasn't because they fell off because all the other teams got back. Nobody on the planet thought Utah State was going to be anywhere close to as good as they were last year. Is it impossible for another Utah State to show up? No, for I don't think so. To go from worst to first. I, I mean, I will. I will tell you this. I don't know that Wyoming, Colorado State, and New Mexico no, are going to do that. But we don't. We don't think it's going to happen. But also, we know. I'm going to tell you. Like you tell me more than anybody else. Colorado State is putting money in the resources. Oh, yeah. They're but, trying to get better. At some point in time, it's probably going to click, and it might only click for a season. But I just click. feel like I just feel like it, this conference is getting to a point where you can't just wash over wins. Now, the next team, I'm, all that's going to sound ridiculous because <laughs> – they're, they're the big boy team, and I just watched over wins. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.